बड़े भाग मानुस तन पावा सुर दुर लभ सब ग्रंथ न गावा इन वेदास द बर्थ ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ इज कंसिडर्ड एज वेरी प्रेशियस इट इज अचीव्ड आफ्टर 84 फोर लैक्स ऑफ री बर्थ थ्रू डिफरेंट स्पीशीज very few people understand the delicacy of this thought and try to lead positive life having such qualities there was a great man named bharat ratna sir moksha gundam vishveshwaraya sir mv means a great visionary who dedicated his life as an engineer to store water for better irrigation facilities enhancing industrialization and the field of education sir mv was a great planner par excellence and a worker having a desire of serving his motherland mokshagundam vishveshwaraya was born in the year 1860 in a mudenhari village of kola district in mysore his father Pandit Srinivas Shastri was a renowned scholar of Vedic Shastra and Ayurveda. One day, Pandit Shastri was narrating the story of Ganga Avtaran. Eight years old Moksha Gundam Vishveshwaraya was highly impressed by this story. This story had a great impact on his mind. The incident of Bhagirath bringing Mother River Ganga on the earth became the ideal and goal of his life. He had understood that with the help of knowledge, confidence and perseverance, man can decide the direction of a river. Ganga can be transformed and called as Bhagirathi. Unfortunately, one who was the major source of inspiration to the small child his father left for his heavenly abode vishveshwaraya was 15 years old then fortunately his mother knew her child's potential and left no stone unturned for his academic and spiritual progress mother's belief in her son's potential was proved true vishveshwaraya came first and topped the high school examination he completed his ba in 1881 from bangalore the story of bhagirath was always alive in his memory this very inspiration brought him to pune's science college to complete his engineering he graduated from this college in 1883 here too he topped the batch In this very year he started his career as assistant engineer in public works department Nasik He completed his first project against all odds like heavy rainfall and non-stop floods As the flow of a river never stops Sir MV never looked back and continued to move ahead in life to implement innovative ideas As a superintendent engineer of India's irrigation department he constructed a dam on Sindhu river Due to this many areas of southern part got benefited The farmers of this entire region as well as the neighboring area were able to provide irrigation to their agricultural land He became in charge of Khadakwasla Dam in Pune in 1900. Pune city was facing problem of water shortage during this period. The only option for raising the storage was to construct gates. But due to insufficient electricity supply, the concept of constructing gate system on dams in rural areas was beyond imagination. to control gates in emergency flood situations and without electricity was a great challenge at that time sir mv had not only studied the laws of science but had created practical approach which was easy to implement in daily life he introduced 
innovative idea of automatic gates. He used a simple phenomena of science that when any object is immersed in water, loses its own weight. He used a rope, gate, duct and counterweight for this purpose. When water enters duct, due to weight loss of counterweight, the gate opens automatically. When water level drops down, water in the duct rushes out. Counterweight regains its original weight and the gate automatically closes to store water. Gate operation without electricity was a revolution and new beginning in the field of dam construction in remote areas. The patent of automatic gates on dam was registered in the name of Sir Vishveshwaraya. But at the heart, this technological genius was a true Indian. This invention quenched the thirst of land of many farmers and therefore Vishveshwaraya refused to accept royalty from the government. Accepting challenge after challenge was perhaps in his blood. The biggest problem in those days was the improper way of sanitary system and its disposal in the river water. Due to this, there was always the danger of epidemics like cholera, plague and malaria. To tackle this problem, Sir M. V. designed the concept of providing clean water to the city through pipelines. He designed and commissioned more than 21 water supply schemes all over India. Proving his mettle, Sir M. V. designed underground sewage arrangement for the cities like Hyderabad, Karachi and city of Aden in Africa. Rainwater was the only major source of irrigation in those days. Optimum storage of rainwater and hydropower generation was the need of the hour. He introduced block system of irrigation on the bank of river Nira. The idea of the block was that only one third area of each block was to have sugarcane and in the remaining two third area, kharif and rabi crops. The object of the system was to distribute water to all villages in the command. The block system is running successfully in Pune, Nasik, Ahmednagar in Maharashtra and Mysore even today. This success is only due to ingeniousness of Sir M. V. In 1908, Hyderabad city was hit by cyclonic flood. Government of India requested Vishveshwaraya to examine and suggest remedies. Vishveshwaraya examined the causes in detail. He proposed 8,439 million cubic feet reservoir on Musi River and 11,950 million cubic feet reservoir on Isi River. Vishveshwaraya was not only an engineer but also an aesthetically rich environmentalist. He proved his concern for preserving nature and his love for artistic touch by raising the river banks in places within the city and converting portion of them into walkways and gardens to give aesthetic effect. green of water spill and lush green meadows. The concept clean city, green city might have been result of this beautiful idea. Sir M. V. yet again proved his mettle by designing seaport of Vishakha Patanam without damaging the natural surrounding. In 1909, the Maharaja of Mysore appointed him as the chief engineer. 
Sir M. V. visualized many hidden opportunities in and around flowing water of River Kaveri. Due to his scientific approach and vast experience, he knew that proper utilization of Kaveri water has potential of green revolution. He designed a huge dam on the river. Right from designing till its completion, everything was executed under guidance of Vishveshwaraya. During the rule of Maharaja Krishnaraj Vadiyar, Asia's biggest dam of those days was built. On the name of Maharaja, the dam was called as Krishnaraj Sagar Dam. Many canals were constructed. These canals supply water for irrigation to lands of farmers in the command of the project. In a short span of time, Mysore was transformed into lush green region. Sir MV's love for nature had become a reality. He planned and constructed the very famous Vrindavan Garden, which reminds us of Sir MV's greatness and his concern for preserving nature. Beautiful landscaping and evergreen beauty made Vrindavan Garden the epitome of reality. It became the center of attraction for the Indian and foreign tourists. Vishveshwaraya got instant recognition in the entire state. He was called as father of modern Mysore. Reliability, able administration, honesty, and dedication were the qualities which made him a great man and a great visionary. Impressed by his efficiency and desire to serve for his motherland, the Maharaja of Mysore appointed him as the Diwan of the state in 1912. As Diwan, Vishveshwaraya transformed his ideas into reality. He announced his work in the field of industrialization and education. His dream to develop Mysore state came true. He contributed a lot in the construction and establishment of Mysore Soap Factory, Mysore Iron and Steel Works at Bhadravati, Mysore University, State Bank of Mysore, Jaya Cham Rajendra Occupational Institute and Chamber of Commerce. Sir M. V. struggled hard for six and a half years to bring Mysore Iron and Steel Works industry in profit. He donated the salary of six and a half years to the government for establishment of Jaya Cham Rajendra Occupational Institute. He believed that the progress and development is possible only when better facilities of transportation are provided. For this, he insisted upon spreading the railway network all over the state. The roadway from Tirumala to Tirupati is his work only. The life of Sir Mokshagundam Vishveshwaraya is like a flowing river. Few drops of it can reap excellent results. In reorganization of his greatness, many government and non-government organizations honored him with many rewards. More than seven universities bestowed him with honorary doctorate. Nearly two dozen institutions named their institutes or one of the department on Sir M. V.'s name. In 1904, he was offered honorary membership of London Institute of Engineers. In 1911, the British government honored him with CIE, Companion of Indian Empire. One more feather in his cap was KCIE honor given to him in 1915. Knight Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire. In 1955, at the age of 95, he received the highest civilian award of Free India, the Bharat Ratna. Bharat Ratna, Sir M. V., was a visionary engineer par excellence. He was a great planner and industrialist. In his vision, the progress of India was at most priority. 
That's why he translated his ideas and experiences into writing. His writing covered the major aspects such as reconstructing India, planned economy of India, unemployment, rural industrialization, etc. He says, remember alphabet C in various ways. C for career, C for cleverness, C for character, C for credit, C for confidence, C for cooperation, C for coexistence and C for culture. A person of best character and believer of taking India to a greater horizon, Sir MV's birthday, 15th September, is remembered as Engineer's Day all over the country. The journey from an assistant engineer to the esteemed award of the Bharat Ratna is not only a memorial of his capabilities and potential, but also an example of simple living and high thinking. His footprints and thoughts will always remind us about the perfect blend of new and old ideologies which made him immortal. As teaching of Bhagavad Gita reminds us to stay focused on our deeds and not to bother about the outcome, Sir M. V. also remained active, in spite of being advised to rest. Once he had said, I do not want to die rusting. I prefer to burn out. Sir Vishweshwaraya was a blend of old and new. In business or industry, he liked European and American methods. But in domestic matters, he was a perfect Brahmin. He was strict vegetarian, teetotaler and non-smoker. I remember up to his last breath, he was working on, our, on new methods and ideas to build India a powerful nation. His deeds proved each and every word of his statement. On 14th of April, 1962, Bharat Ratna, Sir Mokshagundam Vishweshwaraya breathed his last at the age of 101. One who lives an integrated life, giving shape to dreams, never ever dies. His thinking and actions keep him alive always. On the occasion of the completion of Krishna Raj Sagar Dam, Gandhiji aptly commented that one Krishna Raj Sagar Dam is enough to make Moksha Gundam Vishweshwaraya immortal. Om Purnamadah Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate